Hey guys, I am back, y'all. So yes, let's get into it. Let's talk about the corny. Let's see what's going on with the masculine and the corny. All right, so. What's going on with the masculine and economy? What's going on with the masculine and the karmic? Okay. I settled because I'm jaded. I feel nothing. Okay. She's helped me out financially and now she's acting like I owe her my life. So this is the bottom of the deck. So this masculine feels like he owes this karmic something. And he knows that he's settled. And he numb to it. He's numb to it. He's accepted it and he's numb to it. What else? What's going on with the masculine and the karmic? I get that you are no longer, no longer want to put up with my karmic bullshit. You don't deserve this. And don't. All right, and karmic uses her family to manipulate me. I see where all the toxicity comes from. Mm. All right. So, like I said, this karmic has been helping this masculine financially. So, he's paying some type of karmic debt. He's numb to it. And he knows that you're not, you're not gonna put up with it. You ain't gonna put up with it. <laughs> he knows that you aren't gonna put up with it. Let's see what, what else. Before I talk in the carol, let's see what's going on. going on with this masculine in the corner? What's going on? Ooh, okay. Ooh, goodness. Betrayed. Caught up. So somebody's about to get caught cheating. Somebody got a crush. Okay. So this masculine could have some crush that he's getting ready to get, get in a bed with. And he's going to get caught. And this karmic gonna feel betrayed. She feel like this masculine made a promise to her. This masculine could have even told her that they were gonna get married, that they were gonna be together forever. But I feel like we got money hungry. Money hungry. This masculine money hungry. But this karmic says she fight for she fight for what she loves, claiming what's yours. Love is like a battlefield. This karmic says she's going to fight to the end because she done invested all of this money into this masculine. She done put all of this energy into him. But she getting ready to get betrayed. Deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. Caught up. This man is laid up. Well, she caught him. She got to find a rubber. She found a rubber. And this is going to be with somebody who has a crush on him or somebody he has a crush on. But this karmic says she ready to fight by hugs. <laughs> this karmic says she ready to fight, baby. If she ain't playing, she says she ready to fight. She says she is ready to fight by her man. <laughs> okay, what else? Tell me more about this, this masculine and this karmic. This masculine got to pay. He feel like he owed his karma the world. Because she done helped him out. I'm hearing lots. 
I mean, a lot of money has been invested. She has done a lot for this masculine. So, he feels like he owe her something. All right, so, yeah, they argue a lot. I feel like they argue a lot. We got the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Swords in the world. Ooh, his masculine giving her to run around. Six of Pentacles and a Knight of Wands. He giving her to run around. He feels like if he tell her the truth, then she's going to force him. She's going to expose him. Expose his secrets. So she knows some things about this masculine. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I feel like she just knows that he he really like don't have it all together. We got the two of cups and the seven of pentacles and the six of wands and the judgment. Everybody else knows what this relationship is about. This masculine has a plan. With this two of wands energy. This masculine plan this out. Very strategic, I'm getting. Like I said, everybody knows what this relationship is based on. It's up for this karma. She hasn't woken up to it yet. She hasn't completely woken up to what's going on. It's like she's pretending like she don't see it. Okay, now we got the Four of Wands for future energy. Nine of Cups, Four of Swords, King of Swords, and the Hermit. Getting Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This this masculine feel like this Carmen wanted the relationship to be so perfect. When she gonna realize? When she gonna wake up and realize? Like. He's not perfect. I'm here and now you see how she feel. Now we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm see I'm hearing you see how it feel to get cheated on or to get lied to, but I'm hearing cheated on because we got the seven of swords and the six of swords right here. And the chariot. I'm hearing thought that you were special. You ain't special. I'm hearing your time coming. Your day gonna come. So I feel like this is what everybody is saying about this connection. Why is the matter cuts here? Seven of Cups. It's a lot of people talking about this relationship. I told you, when he ain't have no money, when he ain't have no money, she was there. She was there with the pinnacle. Okay, she was there with the pinnacle. Waiting on him to make a decision. So she waited for this masculine. She baited him in with money to help him out, and he took the bait. I'm hearing it's not even my fault. I don't feel like I should have waited to make some type of decision. Okay, so tell me more about this Hierophant. Could be a Taurus involved. But this Karmic wants this perfect relationship. Like, she she wants it to be perfect. Um, To make it seem like she's special. Like, she's the one. Um, But... I'm getting that a lot of people are gossiping. I'm hearing a lot of people like talking about the relationship. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. A bunch of people talking about this connection. 
Like, it's being talked about bad with the five of wands. But I feel like... It's a lot of com a, a lot of competition. It's like a battle going on. It's like this karmic is fighting, is arguing or competing with someone else for this for this masculine. She's always in competition. I'm telling you, and this karmic has invested a lot into this masculine. A lot go into it. Hmm. This masculine for sure, for sure, playing this out. Um... In the past, I feel like they just recently went through some sort of breakup. Could be, like I said, a fire sign. But I feel like maybe the passion is leaving this connection. It's no longer passionate. It's more so giving this masculine a headache. Um, I feel like now we got the three of cups and the lovers. So this karmic could be, um, you know, a likable person. But... I feel like this masculine feel like it's a lot of uh, lies, okay? It's a lot of lies. My left eye is just jumping. But with that three of swords and that eight of cups, I feel like there was a recent breakup. Because some type of, somebody, this masculine was keeping secrets, okay? We got the moon. So this masculine was keeping a secret from this karmic. His masculine is starting to slow down. Like, he starts, he, he'll pick up and then he'll slow down out of nowhere. This masculine also feels like, I see, it looks like they could be living together or, like, they moved in. But this masculine is kind of, like, not, don't really have nowhere else to go. Um, So, that could be a reason why he's sticking around here with that five of pentacles. And that four of wands. That's kind of giving me like nowhere else to go. Like not really not nowhere to go. I feel like this is what this masculine telling this karmic. Okay, well, where I'm going to go? And this mask and this karmic falls for it. He ready to drop it. I feel like this karmic wants more from him and he's starting to get worried. Okay, he's starting to worry because she wants more from him. She's wanting too much. She feels like she wants too much. It's not as easy as it once was when this karmic was just, you know, just wanted attention. But now that he is on, she's wanting more from him and he's starting to stress out. He's giving her, giving her a lot of hope, though. He's giving her a bunch of hope. He's feeding her with a lot, okay, to make her feel special. He's trying to keep her around, but it's Carmen getting tired. It could be a Leo with a strength card here. She's getting tired of waiting. She's getting tired of waiting for something. She feels like, um, she, she feels like she's forcing it. She feels like she's forcing it. And she's getting tired of waiting on something. She feels like things are falling apart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she's putting pressure on. She's she's applying pressure to him. Okay. That's why that fool and that seven of wands is here. 
She's applying pressure. Okay. It's like her friends telling her that she need to start her friends. She's getting advice from her friends. Her friends telling her what she need to be doing. Like you should start doing this or start asking him that. Doing this. Move like this to see what he do. I see some stalking going on. She's literally stalking this masculine. And then she'll ask him a question to see if, you know, just see how he responds to it. So she's picking up on, she's picking up on certain things. She don't want to get played. And he, he ain't been showing her, he ain't been telling her he love her lately. So she's, she's suspicious. Yeah, this masculine thing, she's figuring figuring things out. So he's starting to be in a little bit of panic mode. Okay, so he's starting to be in a little bit of a panic mode. He's starting to panic. He's hiding. He's hiding something. We got the Hermit, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. That's definitely sex with someone, okay? Because he knows that he's going to end up regretting it. And people are going to be talking more about him. Like, this is going to be a constant cycle of everybody talking, 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 talking. He's trying to hide. He's hiding that he's talking to someone else. He's hiding it. He's hot and he's hot and he's trying to hide. Yep. And I see constant back and forth. Constant back and forth. And he knows that she's watching him. He knows that she's watching him. Ooh, so this karmic, I, I wonder what she's getting tired of waiting for. I want to see what she's tired of waiting for because she is. She getting frustrated and tired of waiting. Like she wants something more. She wants more from this masculine. What does this karmic want from this masculine? Seven of Cups. Okay, so she's confused. She feels like this masculine is going to return back to somebody from his past. Okay, because I feel like that's all they talk about. Yep, King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles. That's all this masculine sitting here talking about. How he was in love and with this person from the past. And he's telling her he don't want to rush. So he's telling her this is why he don't want to rush because of his past. Okay, and she's like, we done did that. We done been through that. Mm -mm. Come with something else. I told you it's a bunch of people that's talking about their relationship. She says too much. Too much going on. Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. It's too much going on. She want to see something for herself. She feels like he he's hiding. All right. So that's what I got, y'all. That's what I got for um, the Bound Masculine and Karmic Tales. All right. Y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.